Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. This uh, voice actor reminds me of uh, when I was reading. Oh, what's it called? Uh, the the something sky to the galaxy. The uh, the uh, something sky to the galaxy. What was it called? I don't remember. Oh, hold up! What's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending, and we're what? supposed to restart the game what, eight eight times. That's really how the heat track is going to the galaxy. It's all determined. So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written yeah, here on thank this you. The this sky thing to the galaxy. wall. This guy had the well, exact same voice as in the. Why don't I get to decide? In the. Um, Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? What was it called when you? No, it can't be. I'd, the hero book, audio book. I don't want, book. To be. I don't want <laughs> the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the time return stopped. Does that mean um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The um, whatever it is that made this schedule. How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. I guess now we just wait. You know. I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime... <laughs> what? What just happened? Okay. We are back. Um, it seems normal. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps mm -hmm. he had simply missed a memo. I will follow the, um... When Stanley came to a set of two <laughs> open doors, he entered the door on his left. Of course he did. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. <laughs> oh, these lights, man. <laughs> that was one ending, the game may be a bit longer than you think. Yeah, maybe. Every meeting room ever, I think. Not complete without coffee. From underpaid workers in uh, Jamaica. Now, oh, where where were we? Broom closet. Hmm. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Of course. Whoa. Executive bathroom. Of course. Is this all using the the uh, Half-Life engine, or am I completely wrong on that statement? Stepping so into beautiful. his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two... Eight four five. 
but of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Hmm. Nothing here? Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Well, I guess we're not going up that way again. <clears throat> Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The broom closet does play a part in the story. Interesting. Are we back at the monitor room again or what's going on? Click. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here this was game the just keeps getting the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life, for he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Off. Or is it off already? On? Off. Is it on now? Just waiting input? Or is it on? So I can turn it off. Off. Uh, did I do wrong? Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Oh god, oh yes. god. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? 
What other mysteries did this strange building hold? Oh, but as beautiful. sunlight streamed into the chamber, I he want realized to go in. none of this mattered to him. Show me the for way. it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, oh, it's what so beautiful. to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And exactly. Stanley was happy. Stanley was happy. Did I beat the game? Or... Or not? What? What? But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. I did beat what the game. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply... So if I go memory. through the same ending, do I get the same ending or just change? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yeah. Ooh, he did. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Get Chris out of the broom closet. I guess I have to check out the broom closet. Whoa. Chris, are you in there? Stanley stepped into the broom Chris? closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. No. Chris? There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. <laughs> he wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Doing sweet F.A. Fuck all. Are you... are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. I you like do this realize room. there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. You didn't mention it, but one of I my viewers did. To mention it. I guess you hadn't thought about that, Mr. Narrator. 
Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path.